Hello everyone and welcome back to DCS and Tempest Blue Flash server. Now one of the things I was really excited about when I saw the server was the fact that it had the Apache in it. And so far I've not really found a server that I really enjoyed the Apache on. So I was really excited to get back into this module, which I don't think I've really given a decent enough try of, and see how it goes. So now I've just picked out a couple of good sorties here, both I was on my own, so I'll just be giving voiceover throughout. But I had quite a lot of fun, so let's jump into the first one. So here's the first sortie, the first time I took off in the Apache on this server. Just crossing the front line, I spot right ahead, we've got a enemy base. And at this point, I am very, very much out of practice with the Apache. I played it a lot when it first came out, but really haven't played it that much since, just because, as I said, there wasn't really a server that I found I really enjoyed with it. And so I was really only doing single-player stuff and didn't really put in enough time. So here... One of the things I'm really struggling with is I am really bad at hovering at this point. Um, not helped by the fact that I have completely forgot the trim controls in this sortie. And so I was kind of guessing at what the trim buttons were doing. And so that is giving my poor CPG here the hardest possible time because his sight is not ground stabilized. So when I twitch... Uh, it pushes him off. He does manage to get the triple A there. I've got a missile warning. I don't see what that is, but I turn away anyway just to give myself some more manoeuvring room. Again, being all a bit over the place here. There are definitely planes flying around overhead during this one, uh, but none of them are seeing me right now. Nice thing about the Apache on this server is a lot of planes are very high and they just don't notice me. Maybe just see in the background there there's smoke trails going down of some air-to-air -air combat. And so my CPG is definitely struggling. I think I'm mostly at fault there, just not holding it steady. I never start giving up at this point and just start spraying. I've got the gun cage to the uh, pilot head sight, so it should be firing where I'm putting my uh, face. But it's not the most accurate gun. I am at quite far range there. And so end up pulling off again, just trying to be a bit on the safe side. Do take a few hits. Again, get a missile warning, which makes me a bit nervous. Trying to get a little bit further away than last time. And then try and turn around here. And lose control. And somehow survive. I, I don't know how, that was not due to my skill at all, that is a complete fluke. Uh, good to know the helicopter can do that. I'll try doing that on purpose at some point. I've also forgotten how to tell him just to fire one at a time, I only know how to tell him to free fire, and so he is... A little bit trigger happy here, firing as soon as he gets sights on before I have a chance to stabilise. I should have told him to hold far while I was facing away. But all the lessons that I'll need to learn for the future. So okay, he gets another hit. Slaving. Blazing. Right, he spots the outpost, fires a missile off towards that. Good effects on target. At this point, he's, he's not seeing the target that's shooting back at me, which is slightly irritating. Laser on. At this point, he says laser on and not engaging. I think he may have fired through all of his missiles. I did take off with 16, but... Uh, 
Uh, it's always very, very quick to fire off the missiles when you're going as far as he is. Unfortunately there, I do take a hit to the engine. It takes out my engine. That last one was just me double checking that it is slave to my head on that gun because the gun was really missing compared to where I was looking. I think just because of how close I was to the ground. So, try and fire here and eventually get that fire on the target showing that I have actually done critical damage. And I just finish off the actual base there. So there we go, all targets destroyed. Have lost an engine. And so I decide at this point that I'm just going to try and limp back. Although it says the engine's out, it was sort of limping away. And so I did manage to get it back to the nearest FARP. And managed a decent enough landing, considering it had a damaged engine. So yeah, successful little sortie there. Next sortie then, this was a couple days later. I had just been shot down over this site, so I knew where to look for it, which is always helpful. Also familiarised myself with the controls a bit more. Did a little bit more practising with hovering. Blazing. And so managed to get this into sort of a more stable hover here, although I do start losing altitude. Mostly I want to take out the AAA defending this site. Fortunately he just misses there. This is very long range and I'm not holding it still. I'm trying to get it set up for an auto hover. But with the Apache, you need to Slaving. manually get Slaving. it hovering and then put it into an auto hover. So I was having Laser to off. try and get that to work. Occasionally just correcting him to make sure he is, in fact, looking at what I think he's looking at. You can see that it's trying to hold its position, but an altitude. But the autopilot really seems to have a hard job right now. And it manages to almost put me in the trees, so I just give up with that at this point. Disable the hold modes. Get a merge call for a flanker. Ah, that's coming in the north. Get a missile warning. Thankfully the missile's not on me, it's on a second helicopter in the area. You can just see the flanker crossing my nose there. Far off a few cheeky rounds, just because there's no traces on them. Really no chance of hitting. Fortunately he does take out the other helicopter, just to the left there. Thankfully he doesn't seem to see me while my CPG is still firing away missiles and my uh, plane is auto-flaring. At this point you can see I've fired a lot of missiles, I've got one hit so far. Really struggling to get the accuracy here. But I do manage to get into a reasonable manual hover here. Probably the best hover that I've managed in the Apache. It's not perfect, I am still moving forward a little bit. But it's really not that bad. 10 meters a second drift, pretty on. much even altitude. On. So I do hear Blazer change on. to low owl, so lock on Go after sleep. launch instead of uh, before launch. Fortunately the first missile there didn't actually have anything locked on, got a bit confused with my controls. Engaging. So yeah, fire off another one. And nicely there, the first low owl shot that actually had a target hit really quite decently. So I am drifting a bit closer to the target now, which is making it easier for him. But he's also really just hitting these every shot, so... I think the low owl is working out better for me. 
I don't know if it's just because it's coming in at a higher angle. So if the laser misses a little bit or it loses laser track, Engaging. it's still kind of pointed down at the enemy as opposed to traveling flat across the ground where if it drifts up a little bit, Target it will destroyed. miss by miles. And slip. I'm deslaved. And slip. Deslaving. So at this point I'm just checking, he's refusing to lock any targets in the area, which is normally meaning that there is nothing left alive. I visually check my missiles, which is something I'm used to doing in the hind, and then I remember that this has fancy computer to tell me which missiles I've got. So we've got one left. I just drift over the target just to make sure, mostly because I could see that uh, other vehicle there that's not on fire, that one was destroyed earlier. So then I move on to a different target, this is just over the hill, decide I want to try and do a little more, send off a uh, missile there, I can't remember what a cord is but I decide to target that, and once again on the low L mode he gets a really nice hit there. So I still have a lot of cannon ammo here and I figure it's worth trying to practice getting him to use the cannon as opposed to me. I know human CPGs can do really good jobs on the um, cannon when they're on the CPG. And so I try to get him to do the same thing, put it into a nice hover out of enemy weapon range, or nice-ish hover. Start getting fire back, you can only see the outpost, but I figure, right, fine, he can start shooting at the outpost. But he really doesn't seem to want to. I I don't know what he's doing here. He just doesn't seem to want to engage. He does eventually fire one little round there. When I'm closer, he's a lot happier, but I take a really bad hit there. Do take out another target there. Not the target I told him to shoot at, but something. At this point, I do have engine one out, and engine one is properly out this time. Uh, last time it was about 50%, so it's still putting out some power. Here it's not putting out anything, so I try and limp back. Really not very fast, really not maneuverable. Almost back when I get the flank emerge call. Hope that you can't see me, but I can't really take evasive action. And then get the missile warning. So go evasive, or as evasive as I can. See him and the missile trail. Do dodge the missile. Unfortunately, I can't dodge his cannon. He takes off my tail there, so nothing I can do. I go down, so good hit, dude, 1-1. One, one. But on the bright side, he was already smoking there from a damaged wing, and right over that hill is Soki Air Base. And so he ends up taking a lot of damage and ends up going down. So I think that's fair. I take a little consolation in knowing that he died too. Yeah, all in all, I've really enjoyed taking out the Apache on this server, and I think this server is kind of the ideal spot for the Apache. It's got a lot of people on it, so you do have to watch for air defense. It's not completely PvE and passive, but there are plenty of targets. You can get to the targets nice and quickly. And I'm really looking forward to doing more of this in the future, especially multiplayer Apache things with uh, either someone else in the CPG seat or me and someone else's CPG seat. So if you'd like to see more of that, please do let me know down below or leave this video a like and let me know what uh, planes you think I should try out on Tempest Blue Flash next. But otherwise, until next time, I hope you remember to be kind to yourself and everyone else. Cheers.